and he's off. Sam started on the obstacle course, only to miss a pole and to land on critical health. Way to go, Sam. With two badly wounded legs, he continued on with the training course, which was actually a proper mission. He was pleased to find that all of his old, seldom used acrobatic moves were back. He got to a hut, where he suddenly realised that he had no shadow. How embarrassing. Try as he might, he just couldn't get it back. It's almost as though this game was older than the first, which it wasn't. Whatever, Sam carried on. I said, Sam carried on. Thank you. Here's a comparison with the first game, in the unlikely event that you were interested. And yes, it halves the screen's resolution when you're in night vision mode. And no, the original game didn't do that. The mystery deepens. And alarms at flat zero. We can't endanger the hostages. Ha! As if Sam would endanger the lives of hostages. Shoot out the light, or eliminate the threat. Hmm! Damn it, Fisher. We weren't supposed to have any casualties. Oh, it's the one of the annoying over. missions. Damn you, mouse acceleration! The guard wasn't going anywhere in a hurry, which is lucky, as Sam battled with the controls since he was apparently stuck to a wall. Not only did the new moves confuse the controls, but the jump button no longer made Sam stand up from a crouching position. Oh no, it made him do a crouching jump. In the face! Sam seemed a bit out of practice, which is to be expected for somebody old enough to be a granddad, though he'd be a granddad who would kick the younger generation's asses. Sam hadn't forgotten what these things did. He never forgave them for ruining his favourite shoes. Sam's tough and manly like that, you see. He carried on to the next load of mines. Sam's smarter than to fall for that. He edged his way over and encountered his second new move, and definitely his favourite. This one definitely gave him a one-up over Lara Croft. Luckily, some things never change and Sam's still able to brush his sexy body through even sexier cloth. Your way in. Sam stealthily made his way to the gate. Everything was on the line as Sam gradually be snuck careful, up Fisher. to the guard, who was armed with a flashlight, something I bet every guard in the first game wishes they had. In the face. Sam wasn't sure if the large open areas, decals and more open-ended gameplay suited the engine, which seemed to be struggling to handle everything. Something wasn't right when his beast of a gaming PC was chugging along at about 40 frames a second. And this was without shadows. In fact, we want you to make a new friend. Sam made a new From friend. Spinner Cell had finally realised there was a cheesy minutes. series, so produced this scene. I need information. I don't speak English. I'd be willing to bet your neck that you do. I know a little English. Good to hear. I'm going inside to meet your friends. Anything I need to worry about? They have guns. I'm shocked and amazed. Sam loved what every else? second of it. My men planted the mines on our way out. We had to escort... Uh, to defend the village. Escort who? Nothing. Escort who? Ah! Nobody! I, I made a mistake! Escort? Who? Ah! I don't know his name! Somebody important to Sedano. He's got an American accent and one of his legs is fake. A bald man with dead eyes. A fake leg? Yes! Go ahead and kill me, that's all I know. Go ahead and kill me, that's all I know. And that's how Sam lost his first friend that he had ever made. Valum, you there? You some light? Valum, his friend didn't fare that me? much better against Sam Fisher, who had clearly been taking lessons from Batman. It took Sam ages to figure out where he had to go, but it eventually twigged and he got to use his new favourite move again. Isn't it a good thing that he learnt that new move before starting the second splinter cell? He could have been stuck outside forever! Sam had survived his first half of his mission, but then again, he had only just jumped over the wall of the place he had to infiltrate. Tune in next time for the rest of Sam's perilous journey.